What is up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com and in this video I have a quick tutorial for showing you guys how to restore your Windows start menu and task bar down here at the bottom in the event of a, uh, a uh, what do you call this, file manager crash. So recently I was moving about half a gig of, of images into a folder and this file manager just was like not responding up here, frozen. And so I came up into my task manager, which we can get to by um, control alt delete. I have it shortcutted here. And I found the process for Windows Explorer, which should be down here. It, it might be under File Explorer. I have it alphabetized right now. Usually I have it under uh, sorted by RAM. And so when it's not responding and freezing, it'll oftentimes take up a lot of RAM. But, but if I crash it here, let me show you. If I, well, it says, it says restart here. So that's probably better to, to click restart. But in the, my case, I click to end this task. And as you can see, it just like crashed, crashed everything. And it was a real pain, you know, trying to figure out how to get that back because you can't do a whole lot without your taskbar, right? But it, you can still hit control, alt, delete, open task manager. And if you go to file, you can click run new task and you can type in explorer.exe and then check this box to create this task with administrative privileges. So if we do that, if you do it without it, it won't work. I tested it. And if you click OK, then boom, the task task bar reappears and all your processes are still there. When you crash the Windows Explorer, which sometimes Pardon me, I've had to do in order to stop the, because you have to use the file manager, obviously. So when you do that, it, that that's what happens every time. And it's, it's, it's not actually that your processes aren't there. It's just the ability to navigate with the UI. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.